Okay, uh, here we are. So let me clear this since I don't need it. Okay, so okay, we will start adding uh, features, uh, a script here, so that we can enter the data, execute the calculation, and retrieve the results in Prosper. Okay, so let's go back to Prosper. So this is just to refresh on how we usually run a Prosper. Okay, this is an uh, oil well, it's a natural flow. And we want to do a VLP IPR calculation, which is uh, commonly known as a, in Prosper as a system calculation. Here, the second box here. So click that. So, okay, this is what we normally do. If you are, if you are using uh, Prosper, you have to basically specify the top knot pressure here. Well, the, I just put in numbers, the uh, top knot pressure or well head pressure, 150 PSI, zero water card, or maybe 10% water card. GR is 1,000, one okay? And we, so this is where we enter the data. And the same, the same thing is, if you want to change the reservoir pressure, we have to go to the IPR sections. We will come here, IPR section, then change the reservoir pressure. Maybe to 800 SIG, and that's it. Click calculation, done. So we need to enter the data manually. In this case, we want to change the reservoir pressure, we have to go to the IPR section. In this screen, click here, enter here, calculate just to update the, 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 IPR, the IPR section, then click done. And then if you want to change the top knot pressure, go here, update the information. So now we are ready to calculate. So click calculation as usual here to calculate button. Doesn't matter, we want to hide calculation or show calculation. Just click calculation. So basically, this is how you view the results. You can either eyeball the intersection of IPR and VLP intersection in this graph, or just simply uh, read the tables here. If you want to use this uh, Python to communicate, uh, to mimic or to replicate whatever you do here, entering the data, run calculation, and also to retrieve the results, you need to know the open server. So what open server does is every single data entries or information here, they have their own address or open server strings. For example, the top knot pressure, if you click uh, if you hold control button and right click, you will see these are the address of that particular top knot pressure. So you can copy the string, click copy the string, and then dump it in uh, Py, Python. So just gather all the information there. So this is for well, hit pressure just in case I, if I, go, if I forgot about this, this one. Okay. Head pressure. And then the results. Okay, this is uh, for the data entry. And these are the results section. So I'm interested to get the result, uh, the oil, the oil rigs. Same thing. Just point your mouse here, click the mouse here, hold the control button, and then right click. So you will get the uh, the address or the open server string for that particular values let's copy the string go to function. this is oil okay so now i already get all the information oh not yet okay how about this calculation buttons so there's nothing there. So how you can get the, the command for calculation is you go to file, 
evaluate open survey statement go to command uh, you have you need to have some knowledge on uh, what we are dealing here so if you look at the command list prosper anl analysis dot sys system dot calc calculation perform system uh, system sensitivity calculation so this is actually the equivalent of the button the uh, click but uh, run button in the system calculation screen so you need to copy this thing okay so here we are so now we are ready to uh, write our script in this uh, python okay now we are ready to write our scripts okay the first action is to enter data to enter data into prosper is what we call uh, do set remember there are three command uh, three main uh, keywords when you are dealing with the uh, open server do set do get and do cmd do set is to insert data into prosper do get is to retrieve data from prosper uh, do com do command do cmd is to actually execute command so in this case we already have a sample of a do set from the from the from the one that we copied in uh, in this open server script here we have the do set do set uh, example so we can use that so what we can do is we replace this command so remember this command is to insert data or text into the comment section in uh, in prosper so we delete this we replace with well hit pressure okay just copy this Okay, do set. So there is a section. There is a section here after the command. C dot do set. This is the string. Prosper dot uh, a n l dot s y s and p r e s. Make sure you uh, you add this uh, f s two. Okay, make sure you uh, and then uh, so this is where you have you can uh, you need to provide the value of what you want to insert in this case you want to insert the uh, well head pressure of 150 okay so now we already set the the well head pressure value so how about we perform this uh, calculation okay now we want to form the calculations to form the calculation you type once you put dot see a do command here so this is where you want to add system calculation So for, for system calculation, of course, you don't need to specify any other uh, any additional values. And to get the results, you have to define a you have to define a variables or rates equal c do get. So okay. 
Okay. So now we, we retrieve the results from uh, Prosper and get it into the memory. And you would like to see uh, the results here in this uh, in the terminal in the screen. So we do the print command. So print the variables there. Voila. Okay, clear the screen. Okay, now we are ready to run our our script. Remember, we will uh, set the wellhead pressure at 1, 000, uh, 150 PSI. Just in case to remind us. And this one is a STD per day. Okay. So we are ready to run. So we can right click and run. Or now, since we already run it uh, before this, so the run button here is active. So we can click run button. So open server is connected. Uh, 990. So this is the oil rates. Okay. To make it nicer, uh, I want to add this STD per day. So I want I want to show the unit here. Okay, let's do that again, and this time. Want to put 200 psi well head pressure. So this is 990. So if we increase the well head pressure, we can expect to see the rates here dropping. I want to add this. Can run again. So I remove all the decimal. Okay, so that's one of the parameters. So what if I want to change the water cut. So I just go here, right click, go back to function, then set, So if the value is from 0 to 100, so now it's 0, so I want to add it 50% uh, button cut. Percentage. Okay, so the oil rate is 808, so if we increase the water cut, then we can expect to see the oil rate is dropping. Oh, the well is died basically. So if you reduce the well head pressure, maybe the well can continue to flow. Yeah, see. So all this can be done without even looking at the prosper. Look at the value now. We already add a uh, 100 well head pressure and 50% water cut. So let's go to system calculations. 
So the value now has been updated to 150. Well, I had pressure. Yeah. So how about you? Uh, I, I show you one more example. Do set. Oops, what was the open server string and then copy <clears throat> show it back there. <clears throat> Don't forget the, the new value. Just now is 1000, so change it to 900. Scuff the copper than STD. Okay. So if you want to see more, <coughs> more results, You can go to transfer. Uh, let's see, you want to see what is the bottom hole pressure, solution node pressure. Right click, control right click. Go to here. <coughs> FBHP flowing bottom hole pressure. We define new variables. Integer so that we can get uh, around numbers okay <clears throat> so i want to print the results here HP. FDHP. Okay, let's run. So under the print function, I, I print the label, or rates, and the unit, the label, the variable, and also the label again. Okay. So yeah, that's I think that that's all for for tonight. Thank you again for watching my videos and don't please don't forget to subscribe uh, my YouTube channel. Okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.